Okay, so welcome back. Like I did say before the show break, we took the trauma care, you know, promo there about the first respondents when it comes to trauma, you know, happening in several places around the world. You can reach out to us. Now, uh, we still continue. Dr. Ola King, so you're still here. Enjoy. <laughs> you are going to ask Dr. Okay, Dr. Ola. Yes, thank you, Sylvia, for that. Um, I mean, recently we've seen where both young and old has been um, diagnosed of cancer. But, but what, what I'd like to ask is, what are the symptoms for you to know if a growth or something that you feel is cancer, is, is cancer? Um... Okay, thank you very much. Um, uh, cancer, before now, can occur at any age. We've um, had um, babies born with some form of, of cancer. We have 90 year olds developing some form of, so it, it, it's not age, you know. It's not age really. Yes, but, it's, but just that there are some cancers that are common in some ages than the, the, the others. Um, things like colon cancer, breast cancer, usually we talk about them, we talk about them coming up 35, 40, now we're seeing a few of them, you know, you have younger yeah. age groups yeah. and, 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 and things like that. Um, but when you talk about symptoms, that's a very, um, there, are, there are no definitive symptoms, symptoms like that. What I want to advise is this, you know, in this part of the world, we need to understand that medicine is a science. Okay. It's a tool, it's a means to an end. Um, the way we make use of um, our phones, technology, is the same way we make use of finance information. We can also make use of health information, mm. you know, to make our lives better. Mm. You know, um, the medicine is not the enemy, like I said, it's just a tool. So we, each and every one of us, just have to be cautious, you know, once we feel things are not, that you think they're not supposed to be there, or that are making you feel that are different. Just see a doctor. The, the, the hospital or the doctor is not only for solving problems. You can also use it to prevent medical issues, you know? And in this part of the world, a lot of times people don't see the doctor until they can't eat, they can't sleep, they are in severe pains, and it doesn't have to get there. And like I said, medicine is a science. It, that means it has a limit. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? So to now tell you symptoms, like for example now, in breast, in breast cancers, they tell you generally that the symptoms are pain, reddening, bloody, disturbed. but those are late signs. Mm. We really don't want to get there. Oh, wow. Are, are you getting what I'm trying to yeah. say? So the issue, the aim right now is to pick up a lump before you can feel it. Mm. Are you getting what I'm saying? And, yeah. to, and to do that, we talk about things like mammogram or CT scan or, you know, and there are several factors that affect that. Number one, availability, how many pieces, depending on on where you are, even when you can do it, cost. You know, there are several, those are multiple, those are multiple. When now talk about cost, we now start talking about NGOs, government in, in, initiatives, and you know, so there are several levels. You know, but it starts with each individual taking responsibility for their body. Okay. You know, remember that our body is just a vessel. Mm -hmm. The same way your clothes is for your body. You take care of your clothes, you wash them, wash you dry them. clean them. Yeah. Same thing in your car. The same thing, you take care of your body. So you have to first take primary responsibility for your body and so educate yourself. Intentional living. Yes. I'm not just going to eat anything because I feel Thank like you very I much. eat it. Thank you very you much. Eat what your body requires. Exactly. And there is, like you rightly said, there's a proportion, you know, yeah. whether it's um, obesity or... Um, malnutrition. 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 That's, that's, that's what they taught us in school, but we seem to forget it as we grow. Balanced diet, yeah. having a proportion of every single element. Now, while we're talking about this, you did raise a salient point of being intentional and taking care of your body, and that's why we're educating people that you do not have to wait until mm, yeah. your yeah. leg, you, can no, you yeah. can no longer move, mm -hmm. or you are diagnosed of something. You have the primary responsibility mm -hmm. to take care of your body. Now, I'm still talking about you know, cancer and its causes. You know, you talked about some warning signs. You don't have to wait till all of that happens. Now, what is the place of diet in how this affects cancer? Because you said diet is very key. Yes, yes. Now, what kind of diet causes this kind of stuff? Because we always say that the reality of we living in this part of the world is that when it comes to food, there's a lot of limits. It's either we are eating. We have a regular yes. style of yes. eating. Easily accessible. Easily accessible. That's what people would go yes. for. Sometimes you hear nutritionists or doctors say, "Oh, this is what you require." But how accessible are these things? Yes. So these factors. Let's talk about diet <laughs> and the factors that follows it to ensure that we have this balanced diet that you're talking about. 
Okay, um, I want to talk about diet in two in two different ways. One is a balanced diet generally that we all need, and then two is what kind of diet kind of predisposed to some cancers. Okay, so general diet, um, <clears throat> it has nothing to do whether the food is sweet or bitter. Mm. Okay, and what we're looking at generally speaking is that um, each meal should contain the, you know, um, almost sizable, not the same proportion, but each meal should contain protein, um, carbs, and vegetables. That's what it means. In this part of the world, this particular part, there's a lot, of, you know, depending on your locality or where you live, some diets are more commoner or predominant or easily accessible to, you know. But in this part, there's a lot of carbs. Mm. Okay, so because of that, we need to cut down on carbs significantly and eat more protein, vegetables, and water. That's, mm. that's the simplest way to put it. But each meal, like for example, and an every person takes a big bowl of pounded yam, <laughs> right? And then now put some vegetable around it, maybe okra, okay? okay? That food is just carbs. Hmm. Regardless of the fact that you're taking okra. <laughs> Look, no, the way you see it, which one do you think is more? <laughs> is, it's the carbs. Yes, the same oh, thing with rice. Easy. You know, a lot of times we, we eat rice with plantain or you eat rice with beans. Hey. But your rice is the major. And then the beans are just one small, just, yeah. just to make it look fine. No. Uh, yes, because already we eat too much carbs. Mm. So we need to cut down on carbs. That will help with weight, OK? Mm. And that will help with maintaining a healthy mm. diet and then a healthy lifestyle. Generally speaking, you know, this doesn't always apply to everybody, but generally speaking, that's how it works. For um, Cancer and also gen generally too. I think one should stay away from processed meals generally. Mm -hmm. Okay, because there's been um, some association and um, some associations of processed meals mm -hmm. with things like colon cancer and things like that. Especially the canned one, ready to eat. Any processed meal generally. Any processed. Yes, meal. jam, sardine. Mm -hmm. Uh, not that you don't eat them at all. You know, it, it, it's difficult. Uh, it, 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 I, I don't like difficult. the fact you just made me so uncomfortable. <laughs> the first thing you said was jam. I, it's an example. Okay. Are you getting what I'm saying? Oh you my see? goodness. <laughs> you know, so Noodles. Oh if you take goodness. them, mm. they're all processed. They're okay? anything processed. You see, um, so fresh foods. Not oh. that that's the best, How but you know, because that? of the kind um, of society. Thank you very living. much. You know, everybody. I don't think there's anybody in this time and day who cooks food every day. Wow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, most people, minimum, they cook for one week. So yeah. they cook weekend and they store, and you bring it out, rest, microwave, and do all those wow. things. So, yeah, you know, those are, uh, but you know, we're, we're in a world where, uh, I'm not saying <laughs> microwave causes. <laughs> No, 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 we understand That's what you're what trying I'm to say. Say. But I'm just saying that natural meals are much better than, than processed, processed foods. If you want to eat vegetable, buy vegetable. Why don't then you buy it. vegetable that has been stored and, you know, has been, you know, because to preserve such things, you have to put some preservatives. Mm -hmm. We're talking about processed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. I mean, because yeah. recently we Sardine, see... Sardine, corned beef, all those things. I'm not mm -hmm. saying don't eat them at all. Oh, oh, okay, right. I run, I don't do them at all, but so that I don't look as if Dr. Said, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying that, that processed meal generally ju just Cut stay down. away from them, all right? Okay, oh, fibers are very good, helps you move your world. What easier. kind of foods have fiber? Fibers mm -hmm. are things like, uh, yeah, yeah, not too, also have a lot of oil and mm -hmm. carbs. You know, but but fiber like uh, there are some vegetables that are very high in fiber. Some there's some although cereal too is processed meal, but, meal. but some, yes, Oat thank you very much. So it's also processed. But but, no, but there's well. there's a particular nut that I I particularly like to take, which is almond. The the fresh one. They have the dried one, not necessarily. Okay. Not, <laughs> not the packed one. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's okay. packed. Almonds are already packed. packed. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can no, get no. the fresh no, one. Though. Though. She said no, fresh. fresh one is fine. Yeah. Of course, it's not processed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, doctor, talking about, um, I've heard a lot of people say that there's a cure for cancer, but it's not being amplified, maybe because of the big farmers or something. So, 
looking at the Institute of um, Cancer Research Institu Institute, have they been um, in frequent development or have they given up on the cure for cancer? Okay, uh, yes, you know, um, we, um, how should I explain it? I, I can safely assume that the four of us here are Christians, right? Yes. yes. That means that we believe that Jesus is the only way. Yes. Okay, but not everybody believes that. Am I coming yes. yes. here? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, for, and if you ask them to listen to them, they, they, they would have some facts to put together. Mm. Are you getting what I'm trying yeah. to say? So, um, that may not be the right comparison, but I'm just trying to let you understand that um, everybody has a right to their own understanding. Okay. Okay? And I think that uh, in believing in something, it's always also good to put your facts together. Okay? okay. Uh, we can put facts together to explain why we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Okay? And why He is the only way. Okay. Alright? Now, for cancer treatment, there are alternative there are several alternative treatments, so mm. or alternative medicine or remedy. So those are usually the ones that declare that there's a cure. Okay. All right. Mm. Uh, and um, I'm, that's not my area of interest specialty, or yeah. specialty. Okay. okay. But I understand that most most of what they do is to attempt to build your immunity mm. to be able to fight right. the cancer cells. Okay. Okay. But like I said, I'm not an authority in that field. All right. Mm -hmm. But in terms of cancer treatment itself, there are a lot of advances that have you know, moved or that have taken place uh, more in the area of um, how best to treat, how best to catch. Um, uh, in terms of drugs, the only challenge we have in this part of the world is affordability, accessibility. But there are some advanced, there are newer drugs. There are studies that have come out on better doses, you know, because of the effect of chemo itself on the human body, you know, so that, 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 there's, that, there's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. Most, to some extent, there are some cancers, depending on when you catch it, that you can't talk about the cure, in quotes. Okay. Now that you're taking us there, um, <laughs> so let, let's, 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 let's do that. You, know, you talked about the effect on chemo on yeah. the body. Yeah. Can you explain that? And you know, um, it's, um, most of the chemo drugs or drugs we have for cancer right now also have a, an effect on the body. Mm. Okay. okay, and it's more significant than the general type of um, drugs. There's no drug that doesn't have an effect on, on the no, not, 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 not even side effects now, but they also take a toll on the body, okay? There are some drugs that you take and that you feel weak, okay? There are yeah. some that you take that you start smelling them in your um, excretions and, 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 and things like that. But for cancer, because of the, the, the pathology or the biology of cancer cells, you know, some of them, some of them also affect some normal cells. And that's mm -hmm. why before you are put on chemotherapy, there's no one dose fit all, you know. Um, mm. The treatment of chemotherapy is individualized, you know. You can't say, oh, that one has breast cancer, use this, that one has breast no, 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 it doesn't work like that. Each person is different, you know, and that's because you need to be sure that the person is fit enough, depending on the age, depending on the stage, depending on the grade of cancer, mm. depending on several factors, you know, determine what best fits that person. You know, and before each test, there are, if before each course of chemo, there are several tests that are done to make sure that the person is fit enough to handle it. Or not. Are, you know, so, so that's the reason why it's a bit different. 